Welcome to the Motor Car Society. We're so glad you could come along for the ride. Society. Welcome to the Motor Car Society. We're here in beautiful Rancho Mirage at the Palm Desert Classic. I'm going to hook up with Barnaby Brokaw and see what's going on around here. We're so glad you could come along for the ride. Welcome to the Desert Classic. Hi guys, welcome to the Motor Car Society. We're here in Rancho Mirage, California at the Desert Classic. And I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to Allie Moss, new with the Motor Car Society, and I think you're going to appreciate her perspective as well. Pardon me, I'm so thrilled to be here in the beautiful weather. Well, I have found that classic car aficionados like to congregate in some of the best climates in the world, in the right part of the calendar, and bring some of their most treasured cars. And I'll tell you, it just keeps getting bigger and better. The cars are fantastic. Doesn't get much better than this. And uh, Allie, you've got a great perspective on this. I would like to hear it. I'm sure lots of people would. Just uh, what you find so fascinating about this show. Thanks for bringing me along for the ride, Barnaby. We're here today with Alan Taylor at the Desert Classic Concours. And it's with Allie. And and what are you standing here by? This is uh, a, Del a Delahaye uh, from the late 30s. It's a Fugoni, a Filoski body car. Uh, it's a beautiful automobile, one of a kind. Beautiful, to it, say the least. It, it has won multiple Best of Show awards around the country. What, in fact, does a car need to win Best in Show? Something. It has to be perfect. So they bring That's it to it. your shop. So they bring it to my shop. So I love this interior. If you look carefully in the center of the seat, you'll see a you'll see a blank spot, a strip, where there's no quill points. And that little strip is the spine of the ostrich. Well no, French cars are different. This does not look anything like a Packard of the vintage or anything like that. They took an awful lot of artistic liberties uh, in their styling from about 1935 forward. Wow. I think the French really started the uh, Concours d'Elegance, didn't they? Uh, as far as I know, they did, yes. Uh, what particularly in styling on this car? The styling, if you look at, look at the fenders, uh, front and rear. Right. You'll notice the rear fenders have very large uh, skirts, uh, and the skirts have compound curves, this way and this way both. Mm. So they're they are not just a flat piece of sheet metal stuck on the over the wheel. Right. So look at the front fender. A very sharp line, the crease on the top of the fender, and when you stand back and look at it, it just has a stunning line to it. Looks like a, we call them uh, pontoon fenders. today in Rancho Mirage, California for the Desert Classic. This is the fifth year they've done this fantastic show. And I'll tell you, it just keeps getting bigger and better. The cars are fantastic, the people even more so. They just, they did such an amazing job. 
race cars look like they're going fast. Sitting. We love that. Yes, thank you. This is fantastic. And I want you to know she picked this one up. I'm Allie. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Sweet ride. Thank you. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You know, and it's amazing. These look kind of big when you're driving them. It's like you're wearing it, you know? It, it, it is indeed. In Ferrari pajamas. Ah, now, did you did you have it restored or did you get well, it? I bought it at a certain level and I keep on bringing it up and up. You know, like we've added some clamps and we added hoses and batteries and things with batteries. Don't you, don't you love buying these hoses? <laughs> <laughs> That's what level you have to go to to, uh, to make it work. 